Hey everyone, Ernie here, and in this video, I'm gonna try out one of James Mansfield's wig tutorials. Let's open up YouTube and search up James Mansfield. I mean Mansfield. And search up James Mansfield. Here we go. And I found one. If you now there's an Amazon, ad. You I'm gonna skip it. It's Sorry, Hi everyone, James Mansfield here, bringing you yet another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to style a wig. A Ooh. nice wavy style with a side part, like the one I'm wearing right now. Let me go off the list of things you're going to need for this project. You're going to need, of course, a wig head and some sort all of right. wig stand. I'm just going to skip to all the stuff I need because I got everything. Leave me up to you. Let's just skip to the styling part. All right, let's Where block out the lace Okay, we're going to block the thing. We're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the lace. All right, now we're going to block the a speed through. Okay, let me speed right, through. Alright, now let's take a brush and brush through the wig quick. Alright, let's brush through this wig. Alright, let's comb this hair. By the way, in the video that I'm following, he used an art wig. I'm just using a cheap Amazon wig because if I f it up, I didn't spend that much money on it. Alright, I think she looks good. Next. Okay, now we're gonna begin the setting portion. Taking a comb, we're gonna put a part into the wig. And where you want the part is really completely up to you because all right so we are just parting this wig however this wig already has a part so i'm just gonna use that come on amazon making everything easier for me next okay grabbing our rollers we're gonna start rolling the hair now we start with the part first and like i showed you in the previous video we're gonna try and keep our parts with our rollers as even as possible so the amount of hair you put in there just pay attention to and make sure it's not pulling from too many different areas on the wig. So you can see where these tracks... Alright, so now we're gonna start rolling. Alright, so James said separate some hair. I think this should be a good enough amount of hair. For a part, I brush upward like this. Alright, brush... Because that's the direction I want the hair to go. You want a natural lift. Brush upward. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, good. Get a firm grip on it. I got it. And we're gonna start doing a roll. Gonna take it, tightly wrap it around the roller at the end. All right, I think I got this. I got this. There, boom, one. I'm done. Styled. All right, we're gonna move on to the front section of the head. And like I said before, the only difference in this hairstyle setting pattern is just this one little direction change in the front. Now the direction change is very, very oh, simple. And bam. And when you perch the roller, also affects the. Whenever somebody says bam, I think of Alexa and the tail going, bam! Alright, so let's roll it the it. other way. Now we're going to start the back section of the head. The curl pattern for the back section of the head is very right, what it is, James. The top crown area are going to go the same direction as these guys. And the rest of the wig is going to go the same direction as these guys where it's all just a straight row of curlers. Let me demonstrate. Okay, work. I think I know what James is trying to do here. So I'm just gonna try to skip like most of it. All right, and this is the final result. Okay, so now in this crown part, James is just splitting them up. Some rollers going this way, some rollers going that way, and then going backwards here. All right, so let's do this. Now when I see people complaining about wig prices, now I know why they charge a lot for style wigs because this is a lot of work. Like, I already want to give up y'all. So do any of you like style wigs or you just go online and wig styling videos and then pretend you know everything like I do? Because honestly, I'm not going to lie. I do that on YouTube all the time. Like, I'll be looking at these tutorials about random things. I'm like, yeah, I'm a master at them now. I could do this. But now I'm like trying it and I'm like, mm mm. This is a lot of work. I saw James do this on his video, so I'm gonna do it too. Yeah. Okay, this is my last one, you guys. Okay, I'm serving combo on this one. <gasps> there we go, the last one is done. What, what? This is how Becky looks now. I rolled the whole thing through. You guys saw me. Struggle, you saw my struggle. If you like watching people struggle, subscribe to my channel. All right, let's keep on watching, James. All right, now comes time for us oh, to steam set it. We're gonna grab that grocery bag and 
and put it over the head like you're recreating a scene out of Black Christmas. First, Ooh. pulling it tightly across the back of the head. We're going to stick the steamer on it and let her rip. All right, so basically we are going to start steaming. Right, so I have the bag. All right, let's watch this. Okay, start steaming. And she get tight with our fingers at the bottom so that we don't burn ourselves or let any steam out of the bottom. And just let the bag fill up with steam. And since this wig is brand new, I'm going to let it sit in the steam for a little longer because I want to make sure the hairstyle gets burned in there. Now, if this were an older wig, you want to leave it in there for a little less time. Just feel around okay, the bag, right. and when it starts to get burning hot to the touch, that's when you know it's time to take it out. But okay, for right. this newer wig, I want to make sure it's under the heat for a long period of time. All that right, way, right. the set I put in there will last longer. And shift the steamer around, because you want to make sure the steam gets to the sides as well. And I like these plastic. Okay, work. I got all the information I need. All right, so I'm guessing she, like, I'm going to start with the back. Oh, hold on. This bag has a hole. Oh, the steam's going to escape. Hold on, y'all. All right, let's retry again. Oh, this one has a hole, too. Oh, my God. Let's get another one. Third time is a charm. I got this bag. No, this is kind of boring. Not going to lie. I feel like that should be enough heat. He's that hot to the touch. All right, so I'm going to take the bag off now. See what's next. We're going to take our wig that we already steam set and we're going to place it on in the middle of the wig oven and close her up. All right, and with it sealed, we're going to take our blow dryer and start cooking it. And quick tip, since the wig is newer, we're going to leave it in there longer. So that way we make sure the hair cooks the style in place. Okay, work. All right, all right so now I have the wig in the wig oven. So now I'm just going to close it up. I'm going to tape it shut though. Oh shoot, I can't even get this tape. You see you guys failing. Failing, failing at life, y'all. You know what? Scratch that. I'm gonna just gonna hold it down. I'm just gonna hold it down. 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 Oops. So now I actually ended up putting a towel like right on top of like the box crack. The box crack. Hey. So the hot air doesn't escape through the crack. We're gonna keep it moving. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. You see, there you go. Failing. Oh, again. Let's try it again. Boom. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, cool. So I'm actually just gonna fill this hole with a towel. And I'm just gonna leave it in there for a little bit because I gotta walk my dog. Me and this tape are just not getting along today. That should be good enough for me. All right, so I'm gonna walk my dog and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I let it sit there for like 15, 20 minutes. So let's keep on watching this video to see what's next. Okay, you wanna make sure the rollers are cool to the touch. That means they're done. Now we're gonna take down the curls. I'm gonna start from the back and work my way up. And that's how she will look. Now bouncy. Alright, let's see if mine looks the same. <gasps> oh shoot. Well, that was a fail. But now look, I got a nice little curl. Yes, work. Hold on, let me push this up. Okay, I got a curl. Okay, this one turned out nice too. Bounce, 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 bounce. Alright, let's keep on taking the rust down. Okay, work. This actually turned out pretty good. Yes, work. Fish. I'm done. She's done. I'm just playing. We're going to get to the styling part, and that's the part where I was like, ooh, ooh, I really need help on this one. So that's why I'm watching this tutorial. And what I'm going to do is have my hairsprays at the ready, my glue spray, and my brush, and we're going to brush it out, holding it straight like that, mm. and brush it. Okay, I did not follow that part. I just took them all down. Well, that's why this is called it. I tried following James Mansfield tutorial not I completely followed it I tried I'm gonna do what I see James do in person now because I think he's changed up his routine I'm just gonna brush through the whole thing Cool, that's our next Okay, now we've brushed out everything. Right, we're here. We're at this, this point is the curl pattern on the wig now this is the back portion of the wig. Look at that wave pattern and all that texture. Now if you want to live that flat hair life, you can leave the wig just like that. Now for the teasing portion, I'm just going to use a teasing comb with a pick. The pick I'll show you later. We're going to worry about the comb right now. now <laughs> I don't have that. I just have this, but we're going to make it work. Aiming upward again, we're going to bring some resistance down into the hair and really build up a good tease. Okay, work. I think I know what I'm doing now. All right, so we're just going to section it off now and let's start teasing. All right, so I have the wig all teased out. Look at that. Hopefully I got it right because I was just like, Argh. Now, here comes the fun part. We get to style it now. All right, 
out, get a firm grip on it, and just lightly brush through it. And I try and keep the smooth out for the top layer of the hair. You don't want to dig too much in it because you don't want to pull out teasing. You're just dragging the brush over the surface and going all the way towards the end. All right, cool. So we're now we're doing the brush out. Cool, cool, cool. So he said lightly brush over it and not like dig in. Or it's just gonna mess up your teasing. Is that a good brush out? For the front part, yes. I'm gonna keep watching the video. Bow. And just letting it cut loose. All right. I'm gonna start with the side section. Cause once you get that all sorted out, the top part starts to come together a little more for you in your mind. I am working my way onward to the back. And a little thing that I do is I take the brush, get a firm grip on it, and drag it all the way down. And using my fingers, I encourage the curl that's happening with it naturally. Okay, work. I think I know what I'm doing. Sorry, this wig head is squeaking a lot, so it's like James never left. Look. All right, so now I have it like semi-clean on the side. So now I'm gonna encourage that curl that James is talking about. And brush it all the way to the bottom. And then with your hand, start encouraging that natural curl or, some, or something. Oh, I see the curl. I see the curl he's talking about. Okay, work. But I kinda wanna keep this out, so I think I'm just gonna hairspray it. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. Let me see the rest of the video. All right, and we're also gonna rotate with hairsprays. So I'm using my wet spray and my dry spray at the same time. Two sprays of the wet, two sprays of the dry, and we're gonna brush on through. Oh, I'm sorry, with a dry. Oh, well, I'm still somebody to pump it up. Good. He'll find out later. First, let me just brush through and encourage that little curl that James is talking about. Especially here on the side. I see it, I see it. James is not a lie. I know he eventually puts the thing on the headlock whenever he styles it at home. And I'm like, girl, I know you're into wrestling, but I know you had to wrestle your wigs. Do you go with the wet end first? I think so. One, two. Let me go on with that. And now I'm gonna brush it out, y'all. So I kinda wanna know how many of you have actually tried following James wig tutorials and how did that turn out for you? Comment down below. I was gonna separate what I'm gonna consider the crown, which is just the top portion. So I'm just gonna say this is gonna be it. And this I wanna go to the side. Boom, that's a look. Watch the top part. And I'm just brushing over the top portion of it. Because I don't want to remove too much teasing. And the more I brush through it, the more sections of hair I want to grab. And as you keep doing it, you can kind of tell the story it's trying to tell you. See, I brush it upward and it swirls backwards, giving sort of a nice wave effect. Alright, in the back, we're not going to forget about that either. Similar to how we did this area, we're going to lightly brush over it raising the hair and it may not be the most natural thing the hair wants to do but we're going to try and blend it in with the rest of the hair okay it worked so now we're just going to brush over the top and then well you saw the vid there's a, there was already a part in this wig so i'm just gonna flip it to that one side that it was going to so back 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 again flip it to this side Now I don't know why I felt like this should be here. I just wanted to give me that curve. I don't know if this is the way you do it or not, but that's what I'm gonna try. I mean, it's working for me, so. All right, so now I'm gonna mess with it with my hands. Let me freeze this right there. Whew, my goodness, y'all. It was a lot of work. I was like, I don't know how James like just styles it so fast. Like I'd be watching him and he's just like, boom, 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 done. Well, not that quick, but you know, faster than this, it would have been done by now. So, so far, I feel like it's looking good. How about you guys? So far, I mean, I'm still gonna be brushing it out like crazy. All right, so I'm actually gonna watch the rest of the video to see if it's just like a repetitive process after this, um, or if he gives us another tip, so let me just check. 
All right, I have it just about the way I want it. I'm gonna show you one last little trick that I learned. The last little trick. That's Gloria what I want. over at Wigs and Grace taught me this trick. Come through, Gloria. When you Wigs see and it's Grace. in certain areas. You just take your comb, dig it in there. Mm -hmm. Get like a firm grip on the hair, and take like some hairspray, like got to be glued or pump it up gold, either one. Then you take a blow dryer. And what that does is it heats it up and it helps keep it in place so that those little breaks in the hair won't happen. Work, okay. All right, and this is the final result. That's it. A nice parted with- All right, let me keep on trying this. All right, so this is the last thing I did myself because I couldn't get the waves as good as Jane. So I just grabbed some elastic and I wrapped it all the way around where I want the waves to pop. And I'm just gonna hairspray it. So hopefully I'm just gonna let it stay there like that for a little bit. And I'm gonna come back to it. So hopefully this makes for better waves. I'm just gonna brush like the bottom portion. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. Then I'm gonna come back, take it off and then just go with this side of the comb and just pick it up to see if it makes a difference. All right, so I'm done holding Becky hostage. So let's take these elastic bands out and let's do the final brush out. And I think I'm gonna be done because honestly, I'm tired as hell. Like I'm ready to just lay down, watch some YouTube videos. Hopefully this made a difference. I let it sit there for like five minutes. Oh, okay, work. So it actually did make the waves go a little deeper. Honestly, I don't wanna brush it out. I mean, the only thing I gotta work on is how to smooth out the hair. Uh, but that's for like another day. Like, I already did too much today. Like, this video is literally gonna be short, super short for you guys, but I've been filming for five hours now for this video. So I've been taking breaks, walking my dog, eating, all that business. I'm just picking it out. I ended up using the blow dryer trick that James actually did that he learned from uh, Wigs and Grace, where I go like this and then do the hairspray, then the blow dryer. And it actually did lift the bang. So that's pretty cute. It actually turned out pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. This is the final result. I'm so shook. I did not know I could do all this by myself. I usually have James help me out with like the styling portion because I have no idea what to do, but it turned out pretty good. So this is the first time I officially like style the wig all by myself because all the other ones I be posting on Instagram, that's a lie. I had James help me out, but not anymore. His tutorial actually worked out. Like I feel like I did pretty good. Like, yes, okay. I'm gonna do a little close up of this. And that's it, I think we're done. You can follow me at Ernie Ray on Instagram. And if you wanna buy better style wigs than this, then hit up James Mansfield at jamesmansfield.com store. And that's it, bye, deuces.